The water molecule is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, but this molecule tends to ionize, that is, one of the hydrogen nucleus is separated from the water molecule. So, the products of this ionization are one proton or hydrogen ion with positive charge and a hydroxide ion with negative charge. This reaction does not occur in the majority of the water molecules and is rather an infrequent event, but it is frequent enough to always maintain pure water in a slightly ionized state, which gives water some interesting properties. For instance, electrical conductivity. In pure water, the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions is in equilibrium. This means that for each water molecule that separates in these two ions, another two ions will join together to form a water molecule in another location. When there is an equilibrated system with reversible reactions, like the ionization of water, we can determine an equilibrium constant, which, in this case, is equal to the product of the ion concentrations and divided by the concentrations of water. The concentration of pure water is 55.5 molar, namely 55.5 moles or water per liter. This number is treated as constant, even in an aqueous solution where solutes are present. The equilibrium constant has been measured to be 1.8 times 10 to the minus 16 molar. So if we substitute these values in the equation, then solve for the product of the ion concentration, we have that, the concentration of H plus by the concentration of OH minus is always equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 molar squared. This number is called the ionic product of water. Since it is a constant, whenever H plus concentration increases in water, a decrease in OH minus concentration will also happen and vice versa. If an aqueous solution has more hydrogen than hydroxide ions, it is an acidic solution. If the opposite is true, it is a basic solution. If both ions are equal in concentration, the solution is neutral. Pure water is always neutral, so in order to increase the concentration of either ion, one must add an acid or base, for example, sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide.